Is this me or you? You. How do I apologize after saying the N-word? Sorry. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> <Like that>? sorry. <laughs> Did you just say you're sorry? No. Okay, one, never say sorry because so that is one of my words that, like, I hate when people use it. Really? Yeah, because they use it incorrectly. You know, are, are you truly expressing sorrow that you said the N-word? Or are you sorry that, are you upset that you got caught? Or are so you upset that somebody recorded it? Yeah, so say that. I'm so sorry that I got caught saying the N word. <laughs> like, okay. Um, I apologize for how this has made you feel. Is, is that passive aggressive <laughs> enough? <laughs> I'm sorry that you feel bad about this, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So if you should, if you're going to apologize, you should always make it passive aggressive. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah. Make it well, their problem. But what if, what if you're really sorry? But you're not. Sorry. No, nope, nobody's ever really sorry about anything. Yeah. When somebody dies, you're expressing sorrow that that person is gone. I'm I mean, sorry for your loss. Depends on who it is, but yeah. Are, are you really sorry for somebody else? Can you be sorry for somebody else's loss? I'm expressing sorrow for your loss. That's the, that's what you're saying when you say, I'm sorry for your loss. I'm yeah, expressing but, sorrow. I don't think it's possible to care about somebody that much. Sorrow is a pretty blase thing. I mean, like you open up a beer and it actually slips through your finger and you're like, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> so that and at somebody's funeral to their widow, <laughs> those are the same feeling. You have to bring yourself into your mindset of <laughs> I dropped my beer. <laughs> Can, oh, <laughs> Can you truly be sorry for something that you chose to say? I don't believe so. You can be sorry that up somebody else is upset that you said it. Really? You've never, so you've never said anything that you wish you wouldn't have said only because of somebody else's reaction to it. But it's not that I feel sorry that I'm sorry that I said it. I'm sorry that they took offense to what I said. Are you though? Yes, because it's a fight. <laughs> I, I'm not talking about on the show. I'm talking about in real life. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, so, so am so, I. So, so uh, one of the, the vice president at where I work, mm -hmm. we were in a, a heated conversation, mm -hmm. and he said, well, Doug, I don't think that we should be doing it this way. Uh -huh. And my response to him was, <laughs> I, I don't I, care. <laughs> I don't give a shit what you think. I was sorry that I said those words in that order at that time. <laughs> uh -huh. Because it, I could have I, I could have said it in a way that wouldn't, wouldn't have had as much stank on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it, it wouldn't have had the, the same feel. You wouldn't have got your point across as the same, right? Yeah, but I, I could have gotten my point across without being a complete fucking prick about it and, and like, had a leg to stand on in the hearing. <laughs> <laughs> huh. <laughs> so I'm not sorry of what I said. I'm sorry of how he took it. Hmm. Because I, I, I meant what I said. Mm. And, I, and I think that's the same way. If somebody says the N-word, mm. they were thinking it, they said it. Mm. Like, you, you can't, you're only sorry because somebody took offense to it. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm agreeing with you. I'm just trying to, to formulate how, you know, kind of how I feel. Like, I think that, a, first of all, I think that apologizing on Twitter or apologizing to a group of people that you don't know is retarded. Like you don't owe a, a faceless crowd of people an apology for anything that you say. That's retarded. That's just a stupid, that's a stupid thought. Second of all, you should never apologize to, to anybody that asks you for an apology. Anyways, like they don't want an apology from you. They want you to bend the knee. Right? So don't. Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to keep this conversation off of social media like real life talk. Like what happens on social media is fucking relevant. It's not real. But you say that, but most people live their lives there now. I mean, I agree with you, but but I don't care. That we're we're addressing real life issues here. We're not addressing social media issues until the next question. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um hmm. so but you you hit on something that was important. 
you should never apologize when somebody demands it. Yeah. Because one, it's not sincere. Right. And two, fuck them for telling you what to do. Right. 